It has been a while, Iron Horse Trail. There we go. The Dublin area. There's other places, but this is where I'm starting, really. Kind of. And yeah, let's see who has more miles in them. The trail or me. Hint. It's the trail. This part of the Iron Horse Trail, uh, next to the road but it's in Dublin it was all new to me back in 2009 I had never ventured out this way before running and it was only because I was living in Dublin that I started taking this trail and kind of went farther and farther every turn every uh, run and we get some wind coming at me it just seems like no matter where I run the winds always coming at me it's always a headwind I don't know how this happens there's something going on here but yeah, this is uh, from bridge to bridge. This is a mile, so this is uh, quite a stretch. There's no water fountains. There's no real breaks. You uh, once you start it, you're committed to a mile. Uh, and if it's really hot, that can be tough. You're on a bike, it's not so big, but you're running. Yeah. Uh, although I should say, actually, if you were to really need, there's a bridge that connects you to Dublin High School, and you could squirrel. Literally, there is a squirrel. You could. Uh, cross the thing and I have uh, a few times uh, so yeah I uh, just Dublin and I remember like some of be games going on and stuff uh, in fact this trail will have several high schools in the past I think Monta Vista and Dublin and maybe San Ramon yeah three or four high schools on the way which is crazy they uh, build high schools on iron horse trails I guess that's the uh, the logic in city planning Probably, it's probably on their charter somewhere. All right, uh, let's um, actually start running on this thing instead of walking, because I don't want this whole pile to be walked. Where is everybody? It is a weekday and middle of the afternoon, but it's also summer and nobody is out here biking or walking. I just kind of thought we were all exercising more these days, but it seems like it's... Uh, gone way down I don't know maybe people wait for the evening could be uh, but hey more trail for me that's pretty cool it's a little bit of work but uh, the project 101 year of Oldsmobile bar 50 years that's serious uh, I was gonna do a comedic inquiry but serious inquiries only my whole joke routine is out the door. It's about 10 miles out so far, and I really, really wanted to get to Danville downtown, but it's just, might be just out of reach to come back, but so close. It's just my feet are hurting, and I'm not running very much in time. You know, the sun is losing daylight as they say in the movies, burning day, like burning. Anyway, it's day, it, we're losing day. Okay, 12 miles and I've reached, almost reached Danville. In fact, it's across the street from me, but my 12 miles was my turning point. So it's disappointing that right across the street, but I, you know, every stroke out, I've got to think about my, my journey back. So, uh, yeah, I, I can't, can't drown. And of course, I'm kidding. I, I came this far. I'm going to go another 100 yards. It'd be crazy not to. I've already gone two extra miles. I didn't plan to go 12 miles out. I planned to go 10 miles out. And I just got so close. And it was farther than I thought. And I things hurt. I don't know if I'll make it home. But if I did make it back to Pleasant Inn, jog walk, that would be 24. In which case, obviously, we'd have to find a way to tack on two more miles. Unless I was in agony, which I might be. So if possible, we'll get there. Otherwise... Otherwise, I guess I'll be getting an Uber. I have reached Danville. This is the trail that Iron Horse, which runs adjacent to nice shops and businesses and has a nice tree tunnel for cover. Uh, really, yeah, this is a beautiful place and hardly anybody on it. I, I just cannot fathom how nobody is taking advantage of this stuff on such a beautiful day. It's not like a thunderstorm, but huh, I don't know.
This is some very, very soft grass. I like this grass. I'm gonna have to take some home with me.